for women who are parents like Caitlin and me, mm -hmm. we all know that life is a balancing act. So very true. And you know, for many of us working moms, you remember one of the first tests of balancing the demands of work and home came right after the child was born. Unlike most countries, the U.S. does not have mandated maternity leave, and any protections for new moms didn't even exist until 1993. As part of our Women's History Month coverage, I explored how maternity leave has evolved and heard from parents who say it's still not enough. Out of 193 countries, the United States is the only high-income country without a national paid leave policy for mothers, or fathers for that matter. Compare that to 12 weeks paid maternity leave in Mexico, 36 in Japan, 43 in Germany, and 82 in Estonia, just to name a few. Although not all of that time is fully paid, it at least guarantees a mother will receive a percentage of her salary during that time period. In the United States, there's no such guarantee, forcing some families to make tough decisions. For Kansas City mom and Jackson County employee Whitney Miller, her maternity planning began years before she had her son, Harrison. When I was first at the county and single with no children, I, I think I took probably four or five years without taking a vacation because I knew eventually I would want that and I would need to leave. In total, Miller took 12 weeks off. Five of those were paid parental leave and the rest of that was covered by time she'd accrued and rolled over from year to year. Since then, Jackson County has increased the paid maternity leave it offers employees. They also have to be in a situation where they can not only take care of their babies, but also recover themselves. And so we looked at our uh, paid family leave, and it was at that point it was five weeks, and, and we thought it would be better uh, serving our uh, associates if we took it to 12 weeks uh, of paid family leave. Frank White says making the switch has not only improved the lives of working parents, it's helped to attract and retain female employees. Unfortunately, those benefits are not the norm. According to a 2021 report by the BBC, only 21% of U.S. workers have access to paid family leave. And up until the 1990s, mothers didn't even have assurance that their job would be waiting for them after giving birth. It was in 1993, the Family and Medical Leave Act, or FMLA, was signed by then-President Bill Clinton. As it applies to new moms, that legislation offers 12 weeks of unpaid, job-protected leave, but only to employees who've worked at least a year for employers with 50 or more workers. According to the National Conference of State Legislators, that only covers 60% of the workforce. And even for those new moms who are covered, it's not always an option to take the time off because they simply can't afford it. It's time Dr. Karen Johnson, OBGYN with University Health, says is crucial, referring to the time period after giving birth as the fourth trimester. For each woman, it's going to be individual, uh, but we do know that postpartum period is crucial. And some of the um, reasons why it's so important is that we're seeing that over half of the major complications um, and maternal death can occur in that postpartum period. As for Miller, she says she's grateful for the changes the county has made to its maternity leave policy, noting that extra time she spent at home with her son made a difference in both her personal and professional life. When I had Harrison, I was able to be home and really make him my full focus for that time. And then when I came back, I was ready to be back. I was able to give my work my full focus. So how much time off should parents be able to take? Well, Dr. Jo Johnson, we spoke to there, said for women, that postpartum period lasts an entire year, adding women need at least 12 weeks to physically recover. And Dia, she's not alone in her recommendations. UNICEF recommends six months off of leave for parents to help with the children's development, to strengthen that parental bond as well. I think I took eight weeks with each of my girls, and it just did not feel like enough. Oh, no, I took that full 12 to 13 Good uh, for you. folks here. I had Good both of my you. babies here, and I think... To your point, you do need that time. Mm -hmm. My husband was able to take like eight weeks with oh, our first, you know? Wonderful. So um, definitely a worthy cause and something that we need to be talking about. Mm -hmm. Great story, Kate. Thank you. Thank